Hi everyone, this is Dimitri Pargamonic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, I wanted to talk about a seasonality play using vertical call spreads or bullish call spreads. Now, when you're trading options, and I'm just going to start out with Microsoft here, you have a few things you want to look at. One is, what is your outlook in the stock from, you know, the day today, the day you put on the trade till expiration? And then the next thing you want to look at, well, what, what option strategy or which option strike should I choose to maximize or profit from that outlook now of course if you already have an outlook and a target price then it makes it much easier because you could pick the options and know what what you want to pay for those options but let's say you're just trying to get an idea and of course a stock can go up or down any day on good or bad news we don't know what you know, we don't know for sure if it's going to go up or down or if there's going to be good news or bad news. But in the absence of that information, what we could do is look at what do we think is likely going to happen from today to expiration from a statistical standpoint. So I'll explain a little bit more since and over here, I pulled up Microsoft here and I put a lot, put up an options chain that expires on December 27th. Today's December 13th. Now, I don't, I don't know if the stock is going to go up or down or if they're going to have good news or bad news, but I don't have any reason to believe that there's going to be any type of event that's going to make the stock go in either direction. So then I look at, well, what do I think will, will, is most likely going to happen based on a statistical analysis? And over here, we have here a seasonality. And what this is telling me is in the last uh, 12 years, or let me see, think in the last 12 years from today's date December 13th to December 27th for that time period going back 12 years 75 percent of the time Microsoft was higher you know from December 37th to December 27th had um, positive return and the average of all those returns was point positive point seven percent so if if we look at those statistics, it tended to be more bullish than bearish statistically um, between those periods. And then the next step we want to do is if we want to play that seasonality, seasonality, if we want to play those statistics, we'd want to put on some kind of a bullish bet. And I'm going to look at a vertical spread, which is buying a call on one strike and selling a call on a, on a higher strike. And of course, this is just one example, but you may want to scan the entire market to see what other seasonality plays are there and then kind of compare them against each other. And of course, there are many different strikes here, many different expirations just in Microsoft alone. And then if you wanted to scan the entire market, it would be impossible to do it all um, individually. So then we go to a screener and let's try to scan that um, out using the screener so I'm going to go to the bull call spreads over here and this is a screener of all bullish vertical spreads so it's going out and then right now it's going to it's defaulted to the next monthly expiration December 20th so I'm going to just expand that and look through all the expirations that expire within the next 30 days and what it's going to do is now it retrieve over a hundred thousand different call spreads in in the universe of options so the first thing what we want to do is let's look for plays that have a strong seasonality so i'm going to go to this tab here historical seasonality and what it does is for each of these expirations so you see january 10th expirations january 30th it runs it runs a historical analysis between the start date which would be the current date to expiration then it looks at this is the number of years. This is the amount of times that the stock has been positive. This is the number of times the stock has been negative. This is the average return during over that seasonal period. And then you have some other statistics here, the median, average up move, and average down move. So first, let's just screen out for seasonality. So I went here to the filters, and I'm going to screen out stocks. For the given period, the, the expected period from today to the to the end of expiration, historically, they the stock returns were positive 
over 70% of the time. So now it's going to go out there and make sure that it's going to filter out only opportunities that have a seasonal play. So you could see here of positive uh, where the stock has increased over 70% of the time. So you could see here in Microsoft, this is the one we're looking at from December 3rd to December 27th. At the last 12 years, 75% of the time, the stock has uh, gained, gained in appreciation and for an average return of 0.7%. And then it goes down the line. So you could see a bunch of them came up from, from Microsoft, and we still have 21,000 potential uh, call spreads that we could do um, that have that meet these parameters. So let's just go back now to the summary page over here. And one thing we want to do is further screen these out. So here we see that these are all the different different um, call spreads, vertical call spreads. This is December 27th, you buy the 157.5 call, sell the 160 call. This in December 20th, you buy the 155, 157.5 call in Microsoft. And here, this is the price of the call spread, the current market price. This is what we believe the theoretical value is based on Microsoft's historical uh, returns or historical actual returns. So we look at the historical returns for for uh, Microsoft with similar with the same date amount of date hold days till expiration and with the same distance. Um, of the stock price from the strike prices and then we come up with a theoretical value and this would be the edge because you're buying it below a theoretical value and this would be the historical win rate and if you wanted to see the analysis you could just kind of pop it up here and see how all these numbers were generated and we have other videos that explain that so let's just first go go back to the main page and look for option vertical spreads that have a theoretical edge of at least 10 percent in other words we want to be able to buy get a good deal and be able to buy the call spread below theoretical value and have at least a 10 percent edge or higher we could also look at the historical win rate if we did the similar spread over and over again how frequently would have it resulted in a profit given today's today's uh, parameters and today's market prices so let's go over here and put above 70 percent so now what it will do is now screen out um, at least 70 percent historical win rate or higher and at least a 10 percent theoretical edge or higher so you could see here we got it down to 167 uh, potential potential call spreads so the next thing maybe we want to narrow it down even further, and since we have a seasonality play here, one thing we could do is say, well, show me out of the remaining uh, candidates, I'm going to go here to strategy payoffs, I'm going to say, and we're going to set it, show me the best one um, based on the best return if the stock actually moves moves that what what it at, the average move on a seasonal place so whatever that average move is between today and expiration historically if it does that what is what strategy will return me the most um given out of the uh, out of the candidates that we have selected here so i'm going to say show me the best one over here based on the return if the stock does its average seasonal move i'm going to select that so it's going to narrow it down further. Now I have 17 potential potential trades here, as you could see. So here are the strategy payoffs. So here, if the stock, if Microsoft does what it does on average over its seasonal move, then this call spread would return 60.3%. If Visa does its average move, then this call spread would return 56.3%, and so on over here. Um, another parameter which I like to do is, you know, if the stock currently, there might be some negative news around it, there might be, you know, you still want to go and look because obviously historical data doesn't know if there's currently an SEC investigation or the stock market's falling. It doesn't know what's got happening today. It's only giving you a, a picture from a historical perspective. So sometimes what I like to do is also look at, is the stock currently 
in an uptrend. So that's another thing. I'm going to filter that out. So now it got us back to eight. And basically what it's doing is making sure if it's on an uptrend is the 50 day crossing bullish over the 250 day moving average is the 20 day moving average crossing above the 50 day and is the current stock price crossed above all the moving averages and if it is it's in an uptrend so now we narrowed it down to five potential uh seasonality plays using these call spreads um and of course then we, the next thing you want to know is you know you want to go check the news or see if there's anything else going on that you you might want to be concerned about and if you wanted just to see how this call spread would look like you click on the expiration over here it'll bring you back to the options chain and you could set up set up that um payout diagram and analyze it further if you want hopefully this was helpful and see you guys in the next video bye